Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be going over Canada 1990 problem number 3. Here's a view of this problem. Let ABC be a cyclic quadrilateral whose diagonals meet at point P. So let's go ahead and draw this picture. So we have our circle. I'll draw a relatively uh, large circle so that we have a good understanding of the setup. So we are given told that we also have a cyclic quadrilateral. Let me draw my cyclic quadrilateral next. I want to make sure it doesn't look a special uh, quadrilateral. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, yeah, let's also adjust these. Okay, so let's keep reading the question. Uh, oh, the, the diagonal. So I, I forgot to connect the diagonal. So I have this one and that one. So the intersection of these diagonals can be marked as P. And we are also told now that W, X, Y, and Z are the feet of P onto the uh, line segment. So let me call this as A, B, C, D. The foot of the altitude would be, let me draw it with a different color here. So we have the foot of the altitude here. Uh, which I call as W, and then with the foot of the altitude on to BC, probably something like that. So that would be X, and then the foot of the altitude, this one would be pretty straightforward. That's Y, and finally this one here, and that one is Z. So we are given the foot of these altitudes, and also... Um, we would like now to show that this uh, condition holds. Okay, so let's start. This is a simple uh, angle chasing problem, obviously. We have a cyclic quadrilateral, so that gives us um, four cyclic points. A, B, C, D is cyclic, but beyond that, we have quite a few other cyclic quadrilaterals, such as A, Z, P, W is cyclic. A, Z, P, W. What else? Um, w, P, X, B is cyclic. We also know X, P, Y, C is cyclic. We also know P, Z, D, Y is cyclic. So those quadrilaterals are cyclic. Let's start with this angle. Uh, let's say, uh, for instance, consider this one, A, Z, P, W being cyclic. So this being cyclic, let me connect the point Z and W here. Therefore, the angle Z, W, P, this angle over here, um, subtends arc ZP, but that arc is also subtended by this angle here. So angle ZWP is obviously equal to angle ZAP, but notice ZAP is the same as DAC, so this is the same as angle DAC here, but DAC, notice on our circumcircle, is equal to DBC as they subtend the same arc. DBC, the same arc CD in this case, but DBC is the same as PBX, huh? P, B, X, and finally quadrilateral W, P, X, B is cyclic as well, so P, B, X is equivalent to, let me draw an extra line here, so this angle here is the same as this one apparently, huh? so you can easily see that because they subtend the arc P, X, so therefore this is equal to angle P, W, X. But then we came uh, at a situation where we realized that WP is an angle bisector. Huh? WP bisects um, angle uh, ZWX, ZWX. In a similar way, we can easily show that ZP also bisects, ZP bisects um, the angle YZW, YZ. W and uh, and so on. So similarly, YP would bisect uh, angle XYZ, and finally XP would bisect angle YXW. But then in that case, we can also let me show those angles. All so we have this one bisected here. So let me draw this. So we have this angle is equal to this angle here. This one is equal to this one. And finally, maybe another color would be nice. So this angle here is equal to this angle. So in fact, P is 
located at a special point it is like the in center of that quadrilateral w x y z huh? so notice that p should have the same distance from because it's on the angle bisector wp its distance to the line segment wx and the line segment wz must be the same so this distance is equal to this but w the distance to wz is the same as the distance to zy because it's also on this uh, angle bisector zp and finally its distance to xy should be the same so those four magnitudes are all the same those and there exists a circle going through these points so let me draw my circle with a yellow color so i suggest huh, there is this circle here the internal circle which has these touch points here um, obviously um, let me mark those touch points here 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 and here now consider the following case we have quadrilateral uh, a quadrilateral uh, wxyz and a circle is inscribed in that inside that quadrilateral but then it uh, immediately suggests that the summation the sum of opposite sides uh, should be equal so wz plus xy should be equal to wx plus yz as we were to show so that proves the given condition and we are done